Morning team, I'm just logging in on my Monday morning. It's the typical morning where I've had a bit of a sleep in and it's 7.45 or there are, no, 7.30. Doing my half an hour of cardio, fasted. And what that means is no food in my stomach. I've drunk 500 mils of water just to get my body hydrated. Had a black coffee just to give me that little bit of energy for a pickup. And now I'm just sitting on the uh, on the exercise bike. So I've set my timer for 30 minutes, and uh, it's always a good way to start the day. So I'm doing this a couple of times a week, just to burn those extra calories. And I'm on week three of my weight loss journey. So I don't really need to lose weight, but I definitely want to get ripped. I want to get a six pack happening. So I'm just doing this video log, so I can keep a track of my progress I can share with some people what I'm doing and hopefully what I'm doing is going to help some other people. What I've actually done is I've followed these role models. They live in, a, in America and they just update their nutrition on a daily basis, more so than their exercise and they're achieving amazing results. So I figure what I have been doing is not working. I mean yeah I'm progressing and getting stronger but I'm definitely not looking how I want to look and I look at some people and they're freaking ripped as and it amazes me so that's where I want to get to that's my goal so I'm gonna take some snapshots I'm giving myself a good few months because I'm being a lot better with my food but at the same time I'm still just gonna treat myself and I have been treating myself and I have been losing weight and I haven't been having protein drinks. I used to have way too many protein drinks. So, this is going to be all about how to get ripped without the hype of supplements and the rubbish they bring along. Getting your nutrients from food and still being able to achieve that goal and still being able to enjoy some of those foods that you really want to eat. For me, I love salt and vinegar chips. I bought some of them the other day. I had a serving of them and ate some cake yesterday. Went to Michelle, my wife's parents house. And that was cool, you know? And I've woken up this morning and I'm achieving a better result than ever on the scale. However, it's not about getting a one-off reading on the scale. I'm doing it every day now. Waking up in the morning, um, going to toilet, then jumping on the scale naked to give you a true result. Then you work out your average. What's my average weekly weigh-in? Every day. It takes a commitment, but it becomes a habit. And then over the week, and over the weeks, you can see are you achieving your goal, whether it's putting on weight or losing weight? So it's a fun journey. I'm really excited about it. I feel like I've now figured out the key to my success. Before I was just eating food, I was not really monitoring what I was eating. In fact, I hated calorie counting. When you get into it, it's amazing how easy and actually how fun it is. So my thoughts are now, um, I'll show you the calculations later on how to work out the macros for your body weight. Really easy to do. How to set up the apps that make your life so easy. How to really have fun tracking your weight. And how you can still achieve what you want to achieve and still live a life a bit. You don't need to be absolutely so disciplined that you cannot achieve your, your ideal results. So that's what I'm gonna share with you guys over the next little while. I'm gonna be doing my, my regular video check-ins. Just to update on the progress. If it helps you, awesome. But definitely for me, it's just gonna be a diary of past events that I can log into at any time and to also just give me motivation and inspire me I'll share some of the the video clips that I like 
that inspired me. Because at the end of the day, life should be a challenge. If life's easy, then it's not so much fun. I mean, you want life to be easy, but at the same time, you need to be pushed, you need to be challenged. It needs to shape you to be a better person. Anyway, that's enough waffle for this morning. I'm going to get into my 25 minutes of remaining cardio, and then we'll check in a bit later. Take it easy.